And next I'm going to continue with auscultation, first on the back and then I'll go to the front. Could you please take a deep breath in every time that you feel my stethoscope? The left upper lobe. Right upper lobe. Right upper lobe. Left upper lobe. Left lower lobe. Left lower lobe. Left lower lobe. Left lower lobe. Or sorry, right lower lobe. Left lower lobe. And left lower lobe. Clear vesicular lung sounds heard throughout. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go on the front and auscultate again. And this time I'll do it on top of the shirt just so you can see my stethoscope location. And take a deep breath in every time you feel my stethoscope move. Right upper lobe. Left upper lobe. Left upper lobe. Right upper lobe. Left upper lobe. Right upper lobe. Right middle lobe. Left lower lobe. Left lower lobe. Right lower lobe. Can you lift up your shirt? Right lower lobe. Left lower lobe. Clear vesicular lung sounds heard throughout. Next, I'm going to continue on to the cardiovascular assessment. So first, I'm going to begin actually with the neck. I'm looking at the vessels of the neck. I do not see the jugular vein or the carotid artery. I don't see any vessels that are prominently bulging out or pulsating. Next, I'm going to palpate the carotid artery one more time. Two plus for the regular rate and rhythm. Two plus with a regular rate and rhythm. If there were any sign that I should check for your brewery, I would do so with the bell of my stethoscope over the carotid artery, also one at a time. But he shows no signs of cardiomyopathy, so I will hold off on this at, on that at this time. Also, if there was um, a jugular vein that was distending out, I would lay my patient back 45 degrees to see if that disappeared, to see if there was any jugular vein distension. Next, I'm looking at the precordium area, so the chest wall area in that cardiac region. I would be looking for any heaves or lifts up the chest wall. I could also look to see if there was any apical impulses or apical pulsations. Um, and I don't know any at this time, and I want to be looking at the bare chest. If I wanted to, I could also palpate the chest wall for a thrill, which would be a vibration that you could feel in that cardiac wall region. So next, I'm going to auscultate in the five auscultory areas. First with my diaphragm, then with my bell. I'm going to show you on top of uh, his t-shirt, just that way you can see the locations. So first I'm going to palpate the second intercostal space, so there's the aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and then midclavicular line, mitral. Also at the mitral valve location, I can look at my watch and I can watch for, listen for a full minute for that apical pulse rate and rhythm. And if a full minute went by, I would say that he had a regular rate and rhythm. Additionally, S1 and S2 were noted at each of the oscillatory areas. So next I'm going to do it again with my bell. Aortic. Pulmonic. Point. Tricuspid and mitral. I did not hear an S3 or an S4, those extra heart sounds. I also didn't hear any murmurs or brewies. And then I would always double check my patients. Is there anything I can get you at this time? Are you in any pain? No. 
Well, thank you so much for helping us, Mr. Pitt. Uh, and if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Feel free to practice your head to chest what you know so far, which now is everything. Thank you.